So today's decision where the courts have ruled they will not force the government to consult, but in, and instead allow the government to decide if they will consult as they make decisions on legislation that impact our Aboriginal treaty rights. It is beyond disappointing. Our fight today is not over. I don't know why I call it the fight. I think it's just a, it's a struggle to deal with governments and be able to have them come to our table and say, hey, we're being impacted. If we were just to lay down and say, hey, we lost it and we quit, that's not our way of life. It's not the way we do things. But what we want to do is make sure that we are part of the Canadian mosaic. And I hope that people that are actually watching this, you know, give us a chance to be part of your society. Let us benefit alongside you. Let's walk shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. It's a simple decision. You'd have to consult before you draft any kind of legislation. You'd have to talk to the people, the owners of the land, the people, the First Nations people. And then you, then you know whether you're going to be impacting our rights. But that, I don't know how they were thinking. It's very, uh, very sad that this country, the justice system, has failed the First Nations again.